Hey everyone, it's John here. It's Sunday, October 19, 2008. I thought I would say hi to everyone and give you an update of what's been going on with me lately. <laughs> um, the crazy has been a crazy summer to say the least. Uh, some of you know I had started a new job um, back in April, early May to be exact. Well, that job did not work out as much as I thought it would, so I quit that job last week. Um, but I'm okay, <laughs> got some money saved up, and I'm actually working part-time at my old previous job. So that should hopefully tie me over um, while I do interviews, while I go something else. Uh, my old boss, he's been really, really cool about it, so hopefully this should work out. Uh, I've been traveling a lot. <laughs> For someone who has no job, <laughs> I should have definitely been traveling a lot this year. Uh, I went to New Orleans in February. I went to Nashville Memorial Day weekend. I went to Wisconsin Dells July 4th. I took my nephew to Disneyland, California for a week in late August. I just got back uh, in early, last week, early uh, the week before actually, uh, for five days in Disney World. In two weeks in Halloween, I'll be in New Orleans for Halloween. And then there might be an overnight trip, a two day trip. Um, possibly Milwaukee for New Year's Eve. Uh, I still don't know yet, so we'll see how that, that goes. <laughs> so I've been doing quite a lot of traveling this summer, this year. Um, what else has been going on? Um, that's pretty much it. I'm doing a job search. <clears throat> I actually uh, interviewed at a couple places. I'm um, hopefully, hopefully hearing, gonna hear back from one place hopefully tomorrow uh, and see what's going on with that. So hopefully I might have a new job beginning November so we'll see how that goes fingers crossed um, the fall season has started I'm really excited about some of the shows that have come back some of the new shows that, that have uh, aired now so let's so get an idea of what's going on first I have to put a shout out to Pushing Daisies Pushing Daisies has come back stronger and better than last season than their first season uh, last week's episode was an episode that involved one of their characters, Kristen Chenoweth's character, who was secluded off at um, a nunnery, a, nun, a monastery for nuns. And I didn't see it coming, but eventually they ended up doing an homage to Hitchcock's Vertigo, including the famous bell tower scene. That really blew my, <laughs> really blew me away. I thought it was so amazing. <clears throat> I don't know what's up with this guy, the creator of Pushing Daisies, whose name I can't, exp uh, can't think of right now, but. Someone obviously has a Hitchcock thing going on because this is not the first time they've done all these Hitchcock tributes. Uh, these little inside homages to Hitchcock, which I'm loving. So, last week's performance was um, amazing uh, of Pushing Daisies. Uh, I'm not too happy about the fast forward plot lines of Desperate Housewives. Something seems off about it. I, I, I've watched the past three episodes, I'm not too thrilled about how they're going. I don't know if it's supposed to make it fresh or whatever, but we'll see how it goes. Um, what else on TV? I haven't watched the first episode yet of Eli Stone. Um, I know Katie Holmes is planning to be uh, a member of the cast. I don't know how long or how much. I, I just hope she's not there too long. And I hope her contribution is minimum at best uh, on Eli Stone because I really, really love Eli Stone. I caught the first episode of... Was it walking on Mars? Uh, I didn't care for it. It was a little too time travel-y. Uh, I don't get it. They're, they're trying to do this whole thing where it's like a parallel universe kind of thing. I love to. I love seeing Lisa Bonet on TV, but they have like so, so underusing her, her in, in that series. You know, to for the for the commercials they keep touting and the return to TV of Lisa Bonet. I mean, it's hardly a return to television. It, it's more like a cameo to uh, TV, so I don't think that series is going is going to do well. Uh, I've caught up on Terminator. I've been catching up my Terminator. I'm kind of still hooked onto that. Heroes has done really good. I'm like the way it's progressing um, so far. I love the return of Heroes. Um, what else am I liking? Uh, what else am I watching? There's a couple. I know I'm watching too. Uh, Grey's Anatomy is back. I'm liking that. Uh, I think they're about to kill off uh, private practice. I, I think the concept worked for a season, and this, the way it started the second season, I was not happy with either. Uh, private practice needs to be 
been cancelled and the actress needs to go back to Grey's Anatomy where she belongs. Um, so let's kill private practice quick. Um, Dirty Sexy Money, oh my god. That has just gotten so over the top. It's 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 campily bad, but it's good for you. So I love Dirty Sexy Money. Dirty Sexy Money is doing really well. I'm, I'm laughing out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still recovering from a little cough that I got last week. <clears throat> on the way back from Disney World. Um, Ugly Betty. I'm kind of up and down about Ugly Betty. I didn't, I didn't like how she didn't choose one of the boyfriends and just didn't choose anybody at all. So I'm kind of bummed out about that. Let's see, what else am I watching? Boston Legal's been really good. I've been watching a lot of Boston Legal. Uh, what else have I been watching? I've been watching a lot of shows. I can't think of anything new, new, new that's sticking out right now. Um, I'm just trying not to... Uh, French was kind of okay on Fox, but after two, three episodes, I kind of lost interest on that. So, we'll let's see how other shows progress over the thing. So, I just wanted to give you an update. <laughs> and someone's calling me. Oh, it's a text message. Um, oh, and if you're wondering what's in the background, I'm listening to Barbara's watching. Barbara Streisand's calling me Barbara Special. Just in case, what's that music in the background? Um, let's see. Oh, I bought two. I already bought my two first Christmas CDs. Oh, that's Speaking of the season, I know Halloween's only two weeks away, but I already bought my first two Christmas CDs. Faith Hills, um, Joy to the World. This sounds really, really good. I suggest you get the Target version that has the DVD concert uh, that she recorded for XM Radio. This is what I got. And I've heard snippets of this, but I haven't heard it yet. It's still in its wrapper. Still fresh! Um, Kristen Chenoweth's Christmas CD. A lovely way to spend Christmas. I'm just so in love with Kristen Chenoweth. I think she's just simply amazing. And I heard a couple songs on here that were really good. So, I'm hoping the whole album should be good. So once I open it up and listen to it from beginning to end, I will let you know. So, well, that's it for now. Uh, as you've seen, I've been putting up my videos from Disneyland. I put out my videos from Disney World. Hopefully next week. <laughs> no, when I get back from um, New Orleans for Halloween. Wait till you see what I'm doing for Halloween and what I'm dressing up as. And... Let's just say it's going to be a, a classic black and white film that I'm paying homage to. And I plan to film <laughs> some recreations of scenes from this specific film, uh, which should be hysterical, uh, to say the least. <laughs> so when I get back from Halloween in New Orleans, I should have some fun videos to post. So hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for the comments on videos and stuff. And keep watching my videos. And I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.